Leviticus chapter 17. And the Lord spoke to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons, and to all the people of Israel, and say to them, This is what the Lord has commanded. If any one of the house of Israel slaughters an ox or a lamb or a goat in the camp, or slaughters it outside the camp, and does not bring it to the entrance of the tent of meeting, to present it as an offering to the Lord before the tabernacle of the Lord, he shall be held guilty of bloodshed. He has shed blood, and he shall be cut off from the people. This is an order that the people of Israel may bring their sacrifices, that they may offer in the open field, that they may bring them to the Lord, to the priest at the entrance of the tent of meeting, and offer them as sacrifices of well-being to the Lord. The priest shall dash the blood against the altar of the Lord at the entrance of the tent of meeting, and turn the fat into smoke as a pleasing odor to the Lord, so that they may no longer offer their sacrifices for goat demons to whom they prostitute themselves. This shall be a statute forever to them throughout their generations. And say to them further, any one of the house of Israel or of the aliens who reside among them who offers a burnt offering or sacrifice and does not bring it to the entrance of the tent of meeting to sacrifice it to the Lord shall be cut off from the people. If any one of the house of Israel or of the aliens who reside among them eats any blood, I will set my face against that person who eats blood and will cut that person off from the people. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you for making atonement for your lives on the altar. For as life, it is the blood that makes atonement. Therefore I have said to the people of Israel, No person among you shall eat blood, nor shall any alien who resides among you eat blood. And any one of the people of Israel, or any of the aliens who reside among them, who hunts down an animal or bird that may be eaten, shall pour out its blood and cover it with earth. For the life of every creature, its blood is its life. Therefore I have said to the people of Israel, You shall not eat the blood of any creature, for the life of the creature is in its blood. Whoever eats it shall be cut off. All persons, citizens or aliens, who eats what dies of itself or what has been torn by wild animals, shall wash their clothes and bathe themselves in water and be unclean until the evening. Then they shall be clean. But if they do not wash themselves or bathe their body, they shall bear their guilt.